Right back, part two. First day. John Hogg is one of the touchdowns. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well drawn up completion that nets them a first down. positive yards that's a good thing but too many plays like that it's just it's too hard to pile together get first downs against the better defenses in this league eight yards to go let's see how they approach the second down from the 29 and they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And it sets up a Houston first. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. You know, that's a good run right there. Keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. Second and six coming up here. Keeping it with Mixon. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Give him five yards to bring up a manageable third and one. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you're going to be a pro bowl. Third down, one yard to go. Now a give to Mixon, and he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. They get two on the play, and now they've got first and goal. Win the early battle. Give it a leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Sending a tight end in motion left. They're going to run here. It's Mixon. And he drives forward for a little, maybe to the seven. Give him just one yard, I think, on the run. Still some work to do here on second and goal. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. This time it's a passing play. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. Better get that touchdown, Paul. The one thing I learned from the late, great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called air raid. But it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. Mixon. And he gets in. Touchdown. Touchdown. Mixon. Touchdown. A, a Mixon day, bro. His fifth total score this ball game. <laughs> I just hope Lil Bay picks the big ass out the way. Try to hit the kid and play him out. The guy's out the way. Now how about the other side? Beating a defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand. Yet all that motivation wasn't enough to stop him on third and goal. Fairbairn now for the PAT. The point after splits the uprights. And the Texans make it a 10 point ball game. <laughs> 46 37. Another rushing touchdown for Mixon. Three rushing touchdowns for Mixon here in this game. What a game for him. Fairbairn has the 
here tonight. Here at Black Friday football with this bitch. Fielded at the seven. In pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackling yeah, about Hopkins. The Chiefs and DeAndre Hopkins. So you are in the, the field. Uh, the touchdown and got two, uh, two points of the ball. More than happy to keep throwing it his right. way, considering what he's been able to do with his looks all game. Could he help at the ball two point conversion? The Patrick, the little Muppet, threw two interceptions. Here goes one. That goes in. A counter give here to Pacheco. He's pushed straight ahead, and that's maybe a yard at most. Here is on the stop. Manages just a yard on first down. Two hundred points. Thanks for schooling my between those two teams. One of the greatest games of all time. And the high, the highest score game of all time. on the play. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. And that first down. A long way to go. The 45, first and 10. Long way to go. <laughs> from don't the stop the season. That pass is complete to Kelsey. And he'll get this through midfield and start pushing into Texans territory. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on the throw. Quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And went to big old tight ends. That's an extra bonus. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. <laughs> Pressure coming from Holmes. Kelsey makes the catch. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. First down carry for Pacheco. And with a nice skein, he runs him down inside of field goal range. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second and one. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Motion in right is Hopkins. And this is down to the 28th before the defense halts it. Give him three on that game. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. It's first downs like that, Kate. Just with the toughness of these receivers, and I can't help but think about some old school dudes. These playbooks have evolved so much in the NFL. Can you imagine some of the physical receivers back in the day and how badly they would have loved to play in the systems like this to just find a way time and again to put the ball in their hands? After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And the defender come away with it. I know exactly what the quarterback was envisioning when he let that one go. Touchdown, baby. Not long after, I know exactly what he was thinking. Oh, no! Give me that one back. Because the coverage baited him perfectly into that throw. And even more so, picked it off. The home teams and this running back headed back out for a new series. And the first half scoring has continued so far in this second half as they try to keep the pace.
Grimes stalks out with a first and ten. Stroud from the pistol. Into the hands of Schultz. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. As quarterback, when you have an outright versus man coverage, you're just hoping and just praying your offensive guy could turn the hips of that defender. And once you see that, you've got to cut it loose and let it go, just as they did right there. On play action, here's Stroud. Cut by Diggs. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Operating from the gun, it's Brown. Has a man, it's Brown. And it's a nice little chunk here, six yards. Something he does so well, Nick Bolton making a stop. <laughs> Just one quarter remaining in this one. It's the Texans in possession of it, needing to preserve that lead over one final quarter. Okay, we go to the fourth quarter, bitch. Black Friday on Friday night. And this man, and the Chiefs, Texans. Seems like struggling. Weeks. After a good pickup, they've got yeah, second and four. Shoot. No resistance offered against the rush that came off the line ready to maul anything in sight. It was all the QB could do to get rid of that before he gets absolutely clobbered. So after that prior incompletion, he's weak on third down. To the oh, area yet again, it's Stroud. Complete beyond the marker. <laughs> and he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. A tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. From the gun, Stroud. God. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big game and a new set of downs. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. Yeah, these in cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. A new set of downs awaits them. Here's first and ten. Get a down about your homecoming, Hawkins. No bitch. This is Mixon. And the power play up the gut only results in two yards. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Round. He'll just huck this one into row C, and some lucky fan is going to haul in a heck of a souvenir. Looking for his wide receiver there. So they're left facing third and long. Hey, no fucking souvenir. You're not going to shit. <laughs> well, right, straight down. Straight down to hell. <laughs> Should have disappeared. <laughs> If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. All right, set now. First and ten. Staying between the tackles with Mixon. Hang on. Across for the touchdown. <laughs> the Texans can put this out of reach as they make it a 16-point lead. It's a Joe Mixon. Russian. Touchdown. It's this. And yet again, he's made a trip to the end.
end zone, his fifth on the ground. And now just out. one more return visit away from pass. tying that NFL single yeah. game record. You got to pass it, Tyson. It's fifth touchdown, yes, but uh, not. Like so the Texans gonna run it back, try for another two point conversion. He's going for it! Bails out of the pocket quick. And he will get into the end zone. They go. What for two? Score advantage. <laughs> Notice the first time they tried it, but this time, Rob, the two point conversion is successful. It just felt like they were waiting for the right opportunity to try it once again. Texas ain't playing well. For the first attempt, but establish a little confidence in this spot, and who knows? Maybe we'll have a two pointer that plays a bigger role when this thing's all said and done. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Offense heading down now for the Chiefs. And we'll see if they go right back to the passing game here. Coming off an interception they threw in enemy territory. This one finds Kelsey. Travis Kelsey, the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Mahomes throwing for two. Vacates quickly left side. And he is in. We may not see them kick ever again, partner. They're now three for three on two point tries today. Right there, Bash, which with the Broncos on Sunday. Oh, it's got it. That lead trim just a bit. Down to 10 points. He's up and away. Sims now on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The home team start being led back out there on offense by their... They're out and set. First and ten. All right. Shotgun now for Stroud. Escapes the pocket. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Trying again, following the sack. They get him again, and this time... That is going to be a safety. And that drive, Brock, I'm calling that the 2-2-2. Two, two, two. two plays, two sacks for the defense, and two points for him as well, thanks to that safety. You kind of felt it building, right? That's what happens with defenses. They can feel and sense, and they get that momentum. They get the first takedown, they come right back and get that second. Now, oh, now it's imperative this offense responds because you've infused that defense with a bunch of momentum. After surrendering the safety, they're out to boot it away. He feels this at the 18. And he's going to go down right along the midfield stripe. This offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. They have a chance to tie this game back up, but they got to get this to the end zone first on a touchdown, and then again on a two-point try. All right. 
tonight. The Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. Hits him on the out route. And a solid gain there. Gets him across the 45 before he goes out. Kid, I promise you, if you and I got to travel the country and watch young quarterbacks, even really good high school quarterbacks, out routes are the hardest to complete. Slants, goes, fades, all that stuff comes somewhat naturally, but really trusting yourself to throw that out route, that comes with time and experience. From the 43, completes this one to Rice. And they get this down to the 28. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Throwing from the gun here. Has him on the quick hitter. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Second and three now. They've got a man in motion. Throwing again, Mahomes. And that's caught by Hollywood Brown. And they'll advance this down to the five-yard line. Give him about 16 yards on that gain, Brock, and it sets him up with first and goal. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. They need the end zone here. They've got four chances at it. This is first and goal. Again, Mahomes to throw. They want complete to Hopkins. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Now it's second and goal from the one. Back to the air, Mahomes. Oh, no touchdown, it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Petrie. That's a number. Costly interceptions, Brock. And then there are interceptions inside the red zone in the second half of a one-score game. That's a number. If there is ever a time where ball security is paramount, it is right now. They made a great play. Don't get me wrong. They deserve a ton of credit right there. But as a quarterback, you cannot risk a turnover. It's touchdown, it's check down, it's throw the ball away. You're literally throwing points away with that pick. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Looking to throw, Stroud. Finding Collins. 12 yards on that play and a good call. That's in the first. There's no route on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Running back sent in motion. Seven and up. Zero and seven. They didn't lose him now. That's the Chiefs. Schultz with the catch. They gained 14 on the play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. They've run this 12-yard out route gate at the Combine. Well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. This is a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. That's complete. Here's Brown. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. 
from the 48. Cut by Diggs. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And it sets up a Houston first. Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. Short pass brought in. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. You know, Kate, over the years, I have heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush your passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Stroud from the pistol. Throwing the out route, complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Look up contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. It's round throwing here on first. Caesar. Has a man, it's Brown. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. No pressure, no problem. The CJ. Second and three. Second and three now. On the carry, this is Mixon. And he gets this down to the 22 before being. Call it no gain, maybe one at best on that play. That leaves him with third and two. Here's Mixon. And the defense is. This one for a big loss. If only this defense could look like that on every play, Kate. They were angry, motivated, focused. And they took that anger out on him and this offense, forcing a fourth down. Kaimi Fairbairn on now as we see how he handles this moment. This is a 42-yard look from the left hatch. Everly's kick is good. And it's now a two-possession game as the lead grows to 11. The best kickers I've been around here over the last few decades, they relish these moments. They know the hard work all their buddies on offense and defense have done. When they can make it a two-score game and be clutch when it matters, these are the moments they live for. Read them extension, subscribe. This is like Jared Goff, but I don't know. It's Fair Bear has it all set up in the kickoff. They still won the game. Here's a return from the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Kansas City offense back out there and set to go. And a nice drive last time out, Brock, squandered by that interception. So I think they take a repeat of everything except that final play. That pass is complete to Kelsey. There he goes again. And he's in for the Kansas City touchdown. The Chiefs now within one score in the fourth. Travis Kelsey, the touchdown. His third through the air this game. And he could have a free play here. And he gets into the end. And this is just automatic for them at this point. Now a perfect four for four going for two. So after some careful consideration, they're going to go ahead and decline the penalty. The penalty is declined. Here 
Volley set up and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Sims now on the return. This return makes it up to the 25. The home team is headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. So begin with a run by Mixon. And he found some running. The Chiefs signal for a timeout. That's going to be their first. Decide what to do on this second down. Fourth quarter, second and one. Three point round, 58, 55. It's been another, uh, another bad homecoming for Hopkins. <laughs> hey, it's in Tennessee. Oh, uh, here. Hey, it was too. All bad. It would be a, a bad homecoming for Derek, Derek Henry. The Ravens. Running it with Mixon. And that short gain is enough for a new set of down. Timeout taken by Kansas City. It's second. Oh, look at this. He's setting up to throw. He's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. Wow, they're going to pass it here. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. This is a guy who's used to embracing contact, Brock. Usually usually makes catches in spite of it, but I guess it's tough for anybody to make a play every time. Yeah, I think these tight ends today, Kate, spend as much time in the old ice bath as just about anybody. <laughs> and when you don't make that... Contact. Well, that stings like the first seconds in the ice. You know, once a play breaks down, you're just looking for a running lane, and then you're looking for that first down marker. He found one of the two, but the defense and that effort swarming after him, well, it denies the first down. Texans going to kick this away on fourth, and it's Tommy Townsend on for the punt. And this somehow is only going to be our first punt of the game. And he got a little too much leg into that one. That's a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity, no doubt. This ball's coming out to the 20. This offense and their quarterback making their way back out there, ready to take over once again. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense would probably rather forget. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Now to throw. It's complete to Hopkins. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. To throw. Left side, it's caught by Rice. And he'll be out of bounds right along the 40. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. I'm not going to waste it yet. Throwing now. 
Hits his tight end on the corner route. And the tackles may just be on midfield at the 48. <laughs> and no more timeouts. A modest amount of time left, Brock, but crucially, no timeouts for him. It's first down. Looking to throw it. Kelsey makes the catch. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. Pickup of 12 on that play. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them along with everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four on range. No chance of throwing away. The clock now down to 16 seconds remaining. Okay. And this little muppet not gonna touch for shit. 58, 55, 16 seconds off. I'm sure he's off. Gotta tie this game Time up. So go ahead up and first. for top. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. 16 seconds left. That shit is off. Put a little more play now. Run this. The Chiefs bring on Harrison Butker for the overtime. What a game. I don't know how he, he, he could have missed this. Is it? And it's on its way and through. He, he got it. And inside the final minute, they've tied this up. These are the moments, Kate, when you realize how valuable a clutch kicker is. When he's the only guy out there and everybody relying on him. And he delivers. I look like a weak ass kick. I was a weak ass kick. How, how, how the hell? This <laughs> got that feeling out. I need a little kick. Let go on now to kick this one away. <laughs> 18 seconds left. So, new kick on the rules. This is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. To the 30? What? That's no. As soon as that, 30. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Man, I got timeouts, man. 13 seconds left. Now they send their back in motion right. Pass caught by Mixon. And he's up to the 35 yard line as they reel him in. I guess not. Timeouts. That's going to do it for regulation. So some we got it over time. Fans in the stands, we're headed for overtime. It's a coming down. Coming down overtime. So he's gonna get the ball, I believe. And hopefully this conclusion will be just as exciting as our opening four quarters. The kick over time. Hardman with a return. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. Their offense running back out now. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. They're out and set, first and ten. First throw of overtime now. Rolling left, buying some time. The Texans close it in, and they will get him. And a big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Trying again, following the set. 
Chased out to his right. Now he takes it. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond. It looks like the 30. Third and just two to go. From the gun, it's Mahomes. For the sideline, and he's got more. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. First down, ball at the 36. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. Buys time, rolling right. Oh, he makes the catch, impressive grab, but he should have let it go. They're going to lose yards. You know, Kate, that really is one of the benefits that comes with experience. You'll feel it. Right, look at the quarterback, never seeing the rush, never looking at the rush. Instead, eyes are downfield, and a big play follows. This one intended for the running back. So now it's going to be third and long. Back to the air, Mahomes. Buying some time right. To the outside and complete to Kelsey. And he's... The Chiefs looking to put on fourth down, so on comes Matt Ariza to handle it. And this one is crushed. Wow, beautiful punt here. That is going to go for 60 plus. Ooh, he put too much juice into that one. It lands in the end zone. We're bringing things out to the 20-yard line. Here come the Texans as they get set to take over on offense. Their defense got off the field clean, Brock, and now their offense runs on knowing that any points are going to end this game. Well, you want to look up complimentary football in the football dictionary? This might be the most important time for it. One side of the ball makes a stand. Now the other side gets a chance to go win it. Pass taken in by Diggs. And he'll get it up to the 27. Well, partner, maybe not the record that most people think of when it comes to quarterbacks, but it's certainly an impressive accolade for him. The most completions in a single game. Yeah, it feels like this was communicated beforehand, right in the plan. Listen, yeah. we're running everything through you. You're carrying us. And to his credit, this quarterback brought his A game. Some of the best throws of his career. Collins there to grab it. Give him 13 on that play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. The smartest pass catchers I've ever been around, they know how to set up an outcut beautifully. They recognize when they have leverage, how to sell the deep route, and then boom, they just break it out as if it's nothing. First down, Stroud. Schultz with the catch. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. You get this big old dude like him in the slot, it's an automatic mismatch advantage. You're training a little bit of speed, sure. You sure do get a lot of size. And anytime he's in the slot, you gotta assume the ball's going his way. Still with that two off one. It's mixed in on second down. Oh shit. Open space inside the 40. And he's finally brought down at the 33. An excellent gain. 20 yards there, and that's gonna move the sticks. Tell you what, Kay, one of the things I'm most proud of coming out of broadcast is my right, old days that hit me up during the game and say thank you. Thank you for finally showing some love and giving some light to what those big boys are doing up front. I got to play with some of the best to do. I got to see it up close and personal. And because of it, I'll never forget it. And they just showed up on that run. Finding Collins. And he pushes this down to the 22 yard line. <laughs> Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on it, and then there's time to put your arm into it and let it eat, throw it right through your target's chest. This one, well, that one right there was the ladder. Smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route. Again, oh this is Mixon, yeah. and he manages to reach the 19 before he stopped. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. There over time, as the bucket moves like I said, the calipers, the overtime, many more experience. In overtime, looking to do the same thing against these damn clues, hitting them out. So that's been the best game of Mixon and CJ, man, both running backs. Oh, shit! Yes, and he'll be taken down at the last possible Close. 
17, and now they're going to have first and goal. You know, Brock, I'm going to admit a little bit of surprise here. As pass-heavy as this league has become, that this record isn't at least Jeez, challenged a little more often. Dolphins. But finally, just like that, someone has conquered it. Bills. And now, Kate, now it's there is a new six. And it's still the Bills. Let's go to six. Up by six. It's a Joe Mixon touchdown. The sixth time he's running in this game. And that ties the NFL record. Yo, what? Oh, so that guy. You beat the Chiefs and I'm not 64 50. No loss, you don't get a chance. Get out of here. Go find a car, man. Come on. Texas is looking to win another loss. Zero and seven. So, for my partner, Brock Heward, and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott, saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody. It's a win for the Texans, as we'll see you next time from Houston. Come on, here.